Let's perform a bear crawl walk. So in the bear crawl walk, you're just starting in a similar position as what you're doing for the hold, where your knees are gonna come up. We're looking for a little bit of adduction in the hips, right? But really important is pushing through that thumb and the pointer finger again, very similar to our push up and plank shape. Uh, from here, all we're looking to do, create a little external rotation, you'll pop up. And then from there, you're just gonna start to step. When you step, you're gonna step opposites here. So if I step forward with my left leg, my right arm is gonna step forward here. From there, I'm just gonna alternate and then step on the other side. You're gonna notice how my knees are staying low. I don't want my knees to straighten out and my hips to pop up. I wanna keep my knees low, hips down low. I'm just walking forward, right? And then once I reach an appropriate amount of steps, I'm just gonna to start to walk back. Still pushing through that thumb and pointing finger becomes really important. You're gonna feel a lot in the quad on the shoulder here, right? Um, but perform this for the prescribed time. It should be stepping forward for a lot of the amount of steps and then stepping back. Let's say this gets really easy though, right? Then we're gonna to start to bend the arms as well. So as you head down, you're gonna almost do like that spider crawl or like a push up here and then come back and then just pushing the elbows down. And that will make it more challenging on both ends. But that right there is our bear crawl walk.